Guys, we're halfway through the year already, and I thought since it's halfway through the year, we would take a look at 10 of my favorite knives that have showed up this year. You can see that they're all laid out there. Some of them have been here for a while. Some of them just showed up. So let's take a look at what I think are 10 of the best knives so far this year. It has been a great year for knife lovers. There's been a lot of stuff that come out. Not all of this stuff got released this year. This is just stuff that came to the channel this year. We are going to start somewhere here in the middle, but I will say we are going to save my favorite for last. So let's start with this QSP Pangolin. So I'm gonna give everything about a minute. This QSP Pangolin came to me from QSP. So you can think that maybe David picked the best one out of the bunch, but I was kind of uh, unimpressed with this when it first showed up and I did the unboxing. And then I carried it for a day and I absolutely fell in love with it. This has become one of my fast favorite knives. Real, really, really a great, great knife. D2 steel, G10 scales, great pocket clip, really good action. Very, very functional, good jimping. The grip on this is amazing. It is very squat and forward. You've got a nice blade on this that is done in a fashion that's not too thin, so you still have a really robust edge, but it's still in a fashion where it's ground down to where it still cuts really well. I did resharpen this. The steel on it feels amazing. In hand, it is one of the most comfortable knives I've had come in. I absolutely think I like this more than some of the more expensive models that QSP sent me, but it's absolutely an amazing, amazing knife. I will put a link to this down below if I can find one. This thing is just an awesome showing from QSP. Let's move on to the next one. And it's the Wii Magnetron. Now I have not done a lot of cutting with this, but I will tell you that everything I've done with it has been amazing. This thing is a very, very comfortable, very well-made knife. We Knife Company knocks it out of the park every time. They use this aluminum powder and carbon fiber together to give it this topographic map look in black and white or black and silver. You've got these beautifully done holes that have been anodized a separate color. You've got this Timascus pivot with a titanium pivot collar. Beautifully, beautifully done. The other side is every bit as beautiful. Super good pocket clip. The blade shape on it is amazing. And the grind on it is just absolutely nuts how thin it is behind the edge. The edge on it is great. And this hand done satin. The only thing I've done with this was open mail because I do not want to scratch this hand satin that's done on this. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful in hand. Just a beautiful showing. You cannot go wrong with this Wee Nice Magnetron. Lock bar access. Everything about this. Just about perfect. Next is the Microtech Switch. This is the new one that was released here recently with their new RAM lock. You guys saw the first day in pockets on this a few days ago. I have <laughs> fell in love with this knife. It is incredible. I do have some issues with the lock. I, I like the lock. I just wish it was on a different knife for me, but I can get past that because just how good this knife is. I love the original stitch. I got to handle a couple of the customs. They were amazing. The Coyote Brown G10 on this looks really good. It's not typically a color I like, but in this knife, it's amazing. The Ram Lock is a very good iteration of like a type of sliding bar lock. It's done really well. It's done attractive. Nice, big, full backspacer on this and the pocket clip, everything just perfect out of po in, in and out of pocket. It feels so good in hand and it is so, so slicey. It's done in a new proprietary steel that Microtech and Bowler got together with. So Bowler Oodle Home started making M390 Microtech, which is the basic Microtech knives. They basically um, reformulated it to enhance its edge retention properties. Super, super great knife. I'm looking forward to really getting into the full review process on this. This is the Sen Cut Watauga. It is a very, very good Warncliffe or Sheep's Foot style. This is super ultra light. Um, I have not gotten a lot of Sen Cut knives on the channel, but the ones I have gotten have all been amazing. This is no exception. Action on this is great. You've got such a good geometry on this and ergos. Nice deep carry pocket clip that, does, clip that doesn't get in the way. It's easy to carry. The, the jimping on this is just in a perfect spot to allow you to use it properly. You've got basically a full choil. Beautifully done straight edge on this. This is coming in at $50. I know that you've got only seen the first hand pocket so far, but I already did look at it. One of the best budget folding Warren Cliffs you're going to find with a beautifully done button lock on it. I just can't find anything really wrong with this knife, and it it doesn't feel as big as it is. This is overall eight inches, and it feels like a much smaller, much more controllable knife. 
awesome, awesome shag from Sencut. I need to get more Sencut stuff on the channel. I absolutely have not been, I, they have never done me wrong. So there you go. Let's move on to the next one. Now, this is a knife that has absolutely surprised me all the way around. This is the new knives Companter. And I saw it and I was like, I didn't know it had a kind of a weird look to it. I absolutely have fallen in love with this knife. This is done in D2 with a hollow grind. It's got kind of a broad clip point style, drop point style blade on it, like a buoy esque with that big swedge uh, on it, but it doesn't have it cut out. Great, great knife. Thumb stud or top flipper. This thing just screams through anything you're wanting to cut with it. The edge is still the factory edge. It has held up. So it tells me their heat treat is good. Deep carry pocket clip that is not at all a hot spot. Super comfortable in hand. You can reverse the pocket clip and carry it either way. And the pocket clip screw is down inside. So the pocket clip slides in. The G10 and everything on this is done beautifully. Super good access to the lock bar. The action on it is ridiculously good for such a cheap knife. And I don't even dislike the front flipper when I can make my hand work. I, I like everything about this knife. And I was so surprised because I thought I was going to dislike it. The next knife is the Oaks Works Elantra. This thing uh, absolutely is an amazing little knife. This gets so much pocket time. Beautifully done M390 blade, full flat grind. Super good milling on this that winds up being jimping. Beautifully done inlays. You can get it in different types. And it has really, really endeared itself to me. It's got a nice top flipper front flipper style like that, like up at the front, but it's not big, but you still have good purchase on it. The thumb stud action on it is great. You can slow roll or flick it. You can also reverse flick off of it and it sits so good in hand. It's a nice small little knife that carries really big. You can get up on that choil. You've got a full four finger grip, but you're looking at just at about six and a half inches overall on this knife. Nice little package on this. Beautifully done. You've got a lanyard post. So if you like lanyards, you don't have to give up aesthetics. It does have reversible pocket clip. I absolutely love this knife. Eric was so kind to send this to me and I rapidly fell in love with it. It's one of the best cutting small knives. If you're wanting to do a bunch of breaking down boxes, super, super good. There you go. The Oaks Works Lantra. Oaks Works EDX Lantra. Here's another one of those great looking knives that just performs really well. This is a CMB Dharma. Now you saw the uh, you saw the video on this where I said you don't have to compromise. This thing, absolutely amazing. M390 blade that has got one of the best behind the edge. All of the CMB made knives come with some of the best behind the edge geometry that you're going to find. Ground really nice and thin, super sharp. But then when you look at it, you've got another one that's done in this beautiful uh, like topographical style carbon fiber with the aluminum powder in with the carbon fiber. Beautifully done in hand, nice and light because that is a big lot of material that's been removed. You got the titanium bolsters or actual bolsters and full liners. So this is three priest construction on each side. The action on it is amazing. Reverse flick off that fuller. Not only is it beautiful to look at, this thing screams through anything you want to cut. One of the best performance cutters that has come in in a long time. So there you go. CMB made knives, Dharma. This is that Terra Mundi knives warning button designed by Dirk Pinkerton. This absolutely is one of the coolest and best cutting knives, but it's also got that really super unique uh, take on the button lock where it's, it's uh, integral in the pivot. Um, I have not done the disassembly video, but man, it just snaps open. Such a good, good knife. Super thin behind the edge. It's got that drop down aggressive squat into the cut style, which means it just cuts so well. And this thing is another knife that, look at that, almost non-existent behind the edge. Super broad grind on it. So it transitions really well. Screams through material ever so well. This is one of the best feeling knives in hand and one of the coolest knives you're going to find right now. These are not available yet. They will be soon when they become available. I'm going to do a video so that you guys can see it and have a link to it. But yeah, if you're looking for something new and you need to keep your eyes open for this coming out soon, um, uh, you know, Beyond EDC has got a lot of really good knives and this Terra Mundi series of knives is their premium line. And I've seen a couple of them. This thing is amazing. These last two knives are absolutely amazing. This is the Precision Knife Works Warren Tack. Now, this came to me from the designer, Daniel, over there. This thing is absolutely 
the best cutting knife I've had on the channel ever, I think. I think maybe it, and I, like I said, I owe the, the guys that, that carry the, the Yojimbo an, uh, an apology. I think maybe those two knives are some of the best. This thing is absolutely a laser. Beautifully done. Uh, titanium scales have been milled down. Hollow ground, 20 CV blade that comes down to point. 018 behind the edge and he's grinding some of them to 0 0.010 and 0 0.009 behind the edge 0 0.009 behind the edge on this is nuts that's half of what this is um absolutely an amazing knife reverse flick warren cliff really really good pocket clip super clean execution great jimping feel in hand everything about this has been amazing check out the videos that i've done about it um, you can find them on here on the channel. Awesome, awesome knife. Thank, big shout out to Daniel for sending this along, um, this production version. Awesome, awesome, awesome knife. Yeah, guys, like I said, those are the best knives this year. I think it's going to be really hard to beat the Echo this year, even with all those great knives on the table, including this Microtech Stitch, which is a, it's a model I love from a company I love with new a new take on it. I still think that the Echo is going to be hard to beat. But we'll see how it plays out. we got six more months in the year. We will revisit this at the end of the year when I do my knife of the year video. So guys, that's it on this one. Uh, it's already pretty long. Let's keep this quick. The best thing you can do for the channel is to drop a like, share it, subscribe, drop a comment. All those things interacting with the video is the best thing you can do. I have got Coffee Brand Coffee, Temper Trail as sponsors. They share a coupon code of crazy sharp, all one word. All one word saves you 5% at checkout Coffee Brand Coffee. It's built into the link. There is an Amazon store down below that link. You can take it, pin it to your browser, use it for any Amazon shopping you're going to do. It supports the channel. It doesn't cost you anything at checkout. And I have a membership where everyone gets a bunch of different benefits. Everyone has access to the Gilded Server chat server. Um, baseline and premium tier members are entered into the giveaways that I do on the server that are separate from the YouTube giveaways. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube. Those are all the ways you can do it financially. Um, like I said, don't forget to check out the thing that's happening on the 22nd. I will have a digital flyer and I'll start posting up in the community tab as soon as we know what's going on. Guys, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section and I'll see you in the next video.